welcome to Pilots 101, where we talk about the pilot episodes of TV shows um, that we like or maybe that we don't like. I don't know. Well, who knows? Um, my name is Chris Quintos, and I'm here with my beautiful co-host. Oh, Lisa Timmons, you flatter me so. You are also beautiful just because I didn't introduce you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, you know, um, uh, this is a lip. So let's just start right in. Girl. Um, <laughs> Can we, can we just talk? <laughs> we, in before times, there was this place, I, maybe it still exists, but it's called, um, it's called the lip bar, the lip, bite, lip, the lip, lip lab, lip lab, or- lip lab. Thank you. Lip lab. And I went with a friend for her like bachelorette. This was, that's what this lip is from. Mm-hmm. I, at least, and I also went that, um, that's what you bring it up. You've been multiple times because you are devoted oh, lip lab I'm I, I'm, a, I'm a lip Topologist, you know, like <laughs> I just have my clipboard and I'm out there taking Your lip uh, notes. Lipboard. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Right. Um, so this lip is called Murderino because mm. you get to name it yourself, and yeah, which because is part of slaves? the fun of the lip lab. Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> because it's lace. No, um, because why does everyone? Why do we all do that? <laughs> why do <we> do that? <laughs> <laughs> Why do we all just sing a thing we think is funny? You know, like uh, because my yeah. mother does that. I Every, I've been doing everyone. that since I was a kid, and I didn't <laughs> realize that a bunch of other people didn't do that. And then I remember when New Girl came out, and everyone's like. <sighs> Why is she just sing talking in the middle of nowhere? And I'm like, girl. I fully understand her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we all do it. I mean, it'd be it'd be interesting to have someone like chart the uh, the origins of, of, this of trend. random breaking into sing talking. Yeah, <laughs> I think mine okay. mine fully. My mom would kind of do that, but also. <laughs> A very strong influence in my life, <laughs> Whitney Houston on being Bobby Brown. She, yes. I don't know if you remember this, but she would just start sing talking stuff, and it was next level for me because oh, when yeah. Whitney Houston sing talks, it's also still <laughs> Whitney Houston. It's still Whitney Houston. So yeah. she, this one of the songs she sang that I absolutely adored was uh, when she was in the forest with Bobby camping. Yeah. Suddenly Whitney had had it and she was like, I'm going home. You can keep camping with this crew and everything. And she gets in her little convertible and she, or before that she goes, Bobby, the forest is over. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that wasn't sing talking. The sing talking. Oh, one time she started, they were shopping for glasses in the mall mm-hmm. and she and Bobby both put glasses on and they just said glasses, glasses. Oh, glasses, yep. glasses, I remember glasses, that. Glasses. And I was like, <laughs> this is so weird, but I, I, I love I love musical whimsy. There, I said it. Yeah. And it, you know, so if you're delivering bad news, maybe it oh. like lightens it a little bit. <laughs> like I'm hey, you're sorry. <laughs> your liver needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know. I you know, people are weird. Um trends are, are weird. interesting. You know, it's just oh. This is how we talk now. I guess it would be like if I was an alien, if I was an alien on that um, from our first episode. um, Resident alien. Yeah, I'd be like, look, here's what Dick Wolf isn't telling you. Um, Truly. He's not telling you that people break into song all the time. (laughs) Sometimes I sing like guitar licks. (laughs) Totally. Totally. But I digress. Yes. Um, <laughs> but also, your Please. lip is lovely. Oh. For those of you who can't see, uh, Murderino is a, an orangey red. Yes, it that's right. Like that's a lip what I wanted. stain, quite that's matte. That's what I wanted, an orangey red. Mm-hmm. I love your orangey red. Mm-hmm. I am in, with a pinky red, a ready pink. Uh-huh. I noticed. I like Thank it. It's you. like a little it's pinky. A, mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't know what this color is. Oh, what's it called? You got to tell us. Oh my God, girl. Come on. It's called Staycation. Yes. But the best part of it is they also have it in French. Vacances (laughs) prolongées. And I was like, that means extended vacation. So what are what what is it, guys? Because a normal state because a normal day is just regular staycation for them. Regular staycation. Every day is a staycation. We just exactly. like to hang. In France, yeah. we just call it vacation. Yeah. <laughs> so extended, extended vacation. Okay. Long. Okay. They really just, yeah. 
They, they know how to live up. They know how to live it up over there, you know? You know, they do. <laughs> but, yes, so you can't see us because we're on the radio or whatever. <laughs> as in audio only, as in – News radio, news the radio, that we did. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> news radio. Here's what happened. Let's get into it. Here's what here's what happened. Last week was <laughs> um, the morning show. Which, by the way, okay, I'm gonna just keep di- digressing. I'm uh, almost done season is. one. Please. Oh, you are. How does? Mm-hmm. Okay, I need to get into it. They bring on the drama. They bring yes. on the drama. Just I like love a lady oh, drama. Oh, it's so good. It's just so good. Okay, good, good, good. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. I mean, every time I'm like, oh, I wish it wasn't so white, but like, but I think, but I think what happened here, if I, if I had to, is if, is if it's Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston because they're the executive producers and they're the two leads, then like, then they have to, then I don't know. I know then, what you mean. You know you what? Know, exactly. Both of them are white ladies. You know. And also, listen. You are a Filipina mm-hmm. American. Mm-hmm. I am a Latina American. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you know what? We're allowed to talk about white shows if we want to. <laughs> but they need to, you know what I'm saying? Like we're out here using the tools that have been given to us. Correct. We can tell their stories, but they cannot tell ours. Tell ours. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? our, that's, oh my God, that is going on a crest. Oh, yes. Okay. So just anyway, anyway, but I still love it. I think it's great. And they did yes. the best they could with, given that they were the two leads and they were, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. The show is fantastic. I am, oh. I'm, I'm there. I'm a hundred percent there. Okay. Um, I'm going to catch up so that you and I can talk about it. Yeah. So I'm almost done with season one. Anyway, back. So, okay, okay. So <laughs> last week was The Morning Show oh. on Apple TV Plus and um, Plus, Apple TV Plus. Uh, I would and harmonize we, with you if I could, but I right? cannot. <laughs> <laughs> and we mentioned that we, um, the, the natural, the natural illusion, 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 illusion was yeah. to, um, <laughs> was to Murphy Brown. Murphy yes. Brown. Um, I, I feel like I sounded like I put a D T at the end of it. It's just Brown. <laughs> it's not Brown. Um, <laughs> not turned. Murphy Brown turned is Murphy Brown. <laughs> so when you go onto the internet and you try to find Murphy Brown, everyone's just like, "Look at the reboot! Look at the reboot! Here's the reboot! It's on Paramount Plus! It's on CBS All Access! Here we are, Murphy Brown the reboot, whatever it's called." And we legitimately could not find. Yeah, I could not find it. it. You cannot find it. Yeah. Even if you have Paramount Plus or whatever. Because then I did a little more deep diving because here I am just trying to get onto – things exist, you know? Things exist. I'm sure it's on on YouTube if I can figure it out. But it has like a Motown song in it, a really popular Motown song in it, I guess. And so that is why it is nowhere to be found because it is expensive. That makes a lot (laughs) of sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. And so I also feel like we should tell our our listeners, our viewers mm-hmm. that um, our moms e and our moms. moms. The, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I just listed them. <laughs> <laughs> just listed right. them in that order. Um, but I think that you know, transparency here, guys, there's so much free TV available Mm -hmm. online as well that I feel, Mm -hmm. and I have this weird thing about being, I hate wasting money and I I hate wasting anything. So I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm always going to defer to the pilots that they make easily accessible for those of us trying to do this thing. Cause yes, (sighs) your girl can't be out here trying to download ripped daily motion videos it's not happening <laughs> i'm just I, know, right? I can't do it anymore guys 41 years old i gotta the fbi's right. gonna get on to me right because <laughs> i'm not i'm not as fast as i used to be it's not kaza light or whatever no, it girl. was <laughs> lime wire, lime wire. Yeah. <laughs> <Jinx>. <laughs> whatever it used to be i can't do that anymore i'm not going down the silk road i'm not <laughs> i i I, I'm staying I'm not on the, up in the Turkish light prison. Internet. Yeah, I, I, I'm not doing it. I'm not can't. doing it. We can't. We so can't. then we quickly shifted, and then I was like, "Okay, what is it? What is it?" And immediately something told me it's just shoot me. And then I was like, "It's not just shoot me. It's news radio." News radio. So then <laughs> here we Both. are, news radio, and 
I do think we should do just shoot me next. Just Hundo, because please. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. You guys, she texted me. She said, Hey, I'm having a little trouble finding the Murphy Brown. I started looking. Brown. I was just confused. A brown <laughs> surfboard. <laughs> and um, it was, you know, Oh, I realize I'm really just repeating what you just told. <laughs> so, <laughs> I thought I had a new insight halfway through. I was like, Ooh, I don't know how to stick you this know? landing. I am <laughs> free falling and I, I am, don't have I'm a parish, sneaking but... back into the corner. Okay. <laughs> I'm just really happy to see Chris because she was out of town. And even mm. though, <laughs> though we do this remotely and I haven't physically seen you in over a year, yes. I still felt it. I felt that you were gone. And so I was like real amped that you're back. <laughs> right, right. No, we saw each other last week, last week for lunch, which was oh, the I'm first so time dumb. we I totally saw each other in that. person for oh, wow. over a year. That was amazing. And, and it was my first restaurant because, of course, it would be with you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So I hope you guys are kind of going out back into the world, masks or vaccines, you know. Yeah, yeah. Vaxed, masked, vaxed. not waxed. I'm, I'm out not the world. Va- I am vaxed and bushy. <laughs> yeah. You know why? Because I'm leaving waxed. I'm leaving it in the past. Girl, that is, oh, that that makes me think of, you know what? The waxed makes me think of the 90s. Which, which makes me think of it's radio. radio. <laughs> yeah. A to see it. A to see Girl, it. I'm like, A okay. to see it. But yes, I feel like when you, when you suggested this show, yes. I was very excited because I was thinking to myself, oh, we are on this cool, and then that, and just shoot me, Murphy Brown. We're in the golden age of sitcoms. I point. wrote the same thing down. <laughs> so true. It's so true. Um, you have this is another crazy cast. Yes. Of individ- I mean, every single person, even the guest stars. Maura Tierney. Can we just Lisa? I, I yeah, her name's love like that. Lisa. I feel like people should um, temperature check. It's like she when when you're always like when you're like who. In the business, if you're on st- if you're if you're on stage, you need people always need to have references. So who are you? And I'd be like, I'm like Rashida Jones's little cousin. I don't know. Like, what do you? I feel like you should add a little more tyranny into yours. Thank you for saying that. Watching this, I also remember that I watched this as a teenager. Right. Loved her, Lisa. Mm-hmm. I That's majored in journalism. I never oh. wanted to be a journalist. I knew that. I kind of knew that. I never wanted to be a journalist. It was just because we didn't have a film program. And this is how pragmatic Ah. I've always been. I said, well, I presume, I know that they get a lot of funding. I presume the equipment's good at the J school. So who cares? It's all the same. It's production. It's production. So technically my major is journalism with a focus in video production. Oh, Yes, with two oh. minors, one in French and one in film studies. Oh That's my. why I was able to give you that little nugget about this lipstick, guys. <laughs> what you get from me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And, it's, and it's great how what you do is comedy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, the French so, tend to have a very universal sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. So people who are stressing about their majors or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just it like really, go through it. Um, yeah. First of all, why are you listening to this podcast? I mean, thank 100%. you. 100%. I but mean, college like, college for me literally was just reacclimating to living in the United States. That yeah, is it. Yeah, because you were <laughs> – yes, you were abroad and you're coming back in, right? Which, which I – you know, I support public radio, NPR, um, yes. because um, it is one of those things that I feel like that PBS and the library um, taught me how to be American. Yes. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I mean, when we are talking about freedom of speech, that's actually that's what, you know what we mean is like journalism yeah. and, and and expression and speaking out and the radio and there's a reason yes. that certain frequencies of the I mean this is a, another thing we're podcasting we get to podcast on an infinite spectrum whereas right. in the radio you know you had these finite amount of wave radio lengths sure. so everything had to be sorted out so i mean i never knew really, how that worked i only hey guys <laughs> this is what a j school education is gonna get you hey <laughs> you'll be able to use some nice broad uh uh strokes of of, of the history of broadcasting just explaining wavelengths I love it. Wavelengths. <laughs> so, but, okay, News Radio 1995 is when it oh. aired. Um, 
And yes, Dave Foley. Uh, oh, Maura another Tierney, kids in obviously. the hall. Another yes. kids in the and hall the, member yes, look from at Slings us. and Just Arrows. Like, boom, 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 we had Mark boom, boom, boom. McKinney, yeah. and you just see where yes. these, you know, everybody comes it's, back. Yeah, you're in the biz. You're in the biz. Um, I loved that opening scene in the lobby. I feel like it just nails Dave Foley's character, also named Dave. Perfect. I think. Um, it is Dave, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, it's just such a good little setup for, it's, like, it's his perfect. character. It, yes. The cold open. Because he wants to be early. He Actually, he wants to be there right on time. Right on so time. So he tarts to the front guard and says, oh, it's, it's a, a, 50, a 57. I'm going to time it perfectly. So I go up there. Thinking he's going to nail it, the guard informs right. him, you're in the wrong building. So now he's going to be late. <laughs> we know. From now first on, work. first day of work on a new job, hasn't even met his new boss. We know exactly what Dave's experience is going to be. And this right. is him throughout the entire series. The, is yes. a, you see a man um, <laughs> always on the verge of, a, of, of, of everything just toppling over him and him being overwhelmed. Yes. And in the final moments, he's able to somehow like, make it work pull it out yeah yeah he is just like yeah that's exactly it that's his character and we're just gonna yeah. watch it over and over and over happen over and over again and Ugh. they tell us right at the top which is just that's just what good writing is about um it i really did is. yeah like what you're talking about with the um this being like the golden age i just felt like it was so tight it was just oh. so like i was screaming with the way they were just like um heightening like the heightening so, was crazy. Yeah, yes, the heightening yes. was amazing. <sighs> so, so what we're talking about is when you take a situation. So that first situation, he's 15 minutes late, and then they just and you now we know it's going to be a hapless dude who's like not used to that. He likes control. He likes yes. to be like perfectly on time, but like the world around him is just not going to have it. Oh, and so, like God. he yes. gets to the station, and then um, is told by his boss. Um, he first he meets his boss, who's like. Um, Mr. James, like an, an interesting dude, uh, like just like a out he's there. Mr. He's to me, he's Mr. Monopoly. Yes. Oh, Mr. Monopoly. <laughs> That's he's good. kind of a. Um, he's sort of to also a precursor to like Jack Donaghy. Yes. From Thirty yes. Rock, Alec Baldwin's character, where he's he's the money yes. man. He is the opposite. He is who Dave aspires to be. He On wants, some level, yeah. In some totally. level, he wants to be in charge. Oh my right. God, is that Beta? Beta. Oh, beta, yeah, do you just, disagree? Beta, he just has an opinion. He's like, <laughs> he has an opinion. I, I mean. beg to differ. Beta is the lovely uh, family dog over in the Cathcart house. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah. He's Mr. Monopoly. He meets Mr. Monopoly. Um, and then immediately after that, he meets. So he's supposed to be the executive news director. That's his um, he, title. Dave he's Holmes. hired as the news director, meets yeah. his boss. Oh, actually, before he meets his boss, he or actually right after he meets his boss, he meets the current news director. Yes, exactly. On and the he heels. Yeah. That B- Dave has to fire the person he's replacing <laughs> before he can even start. And then that's where all the shenanigans begin. It's amazing. Can I tell you? I oh very yeah. rarely get to tell this s- story. I Please. worked for the Tyra Banks show for three days as a writer. <laughs> and it felt very much like this pilot episode because what happened was at the time they had so many writers that they were testing out and I was very young and very green, but yeah. the sample, I worked for the company that produced the show. So like, you know, it was just sort of like they were trying everyone out. And I think I was just, I knew someone yeah. I got thrown in the mix. I showed up on the day and it was that same. Cause, cause that's the nature of like a daily uh, TV show or news yeah. or whatever things are moving so fast it's and fast. furious. I I get there immediately. They introduce me to the producers and they're like, "Okay, by the way, you have to. They have to give you their notes before you can even start your job." And they're trying to hold on to their notes so that they have more time to work on their segment. Right. And I'm like, "But I need your notes so I can write this script, or I'm going to be here all night." So I know the feeling of meeting someone and immediately going. I have to tell you something terrible as in yeah. you have no more time to do your note. Like I have to come in and be the bad guy. And yes. I just met yeah. you. I felt. And I'm new here. And I'm new here. And I'm, you know, I'm not, I hadn't even been in LA that long at that time. It wow. was 
it, it really much captured that feeling of the behind the scenes moving fast. Hey, yeah. keep up or you're going to fall off the, the treadmill. And <laughs> I, I full, I felt so bad for him, but you know who I felt even more for was who? the Lisa character. Yes. Because here's the thing that's so funny is I do remember yes. having a very strong love for all the female characters on the show. Now the character of Catherine who, <laughs> Oh, who's like the um, silent black lady in the booth who never gets to talk in this pilot. (laughs) This character, when Candy Alexander, because it's not Candy Alexander originally, it's I don't know who this actress is in this pilot episode. She doesn't really get a lot of play. God bless. Uh, Oh, her Ella Joyce. So when Candy Alexander comes in, she's not in the pilot, but I you probably remember. I she was so vivacious and like yeah. just very sexy, but like really powerful. S- such totally. a great foil for um, Phil Hartman's character. Oh and, yes, yeah. And so I, yeah, that's one of the reasons that I love the show. But Lisa gets passed over. Yes. She works there for twelve, hours. and as the viewer, yes, she should be the news director. Right, right. And like on that, how many times? <laughs> I, I was just like. How how many of you can relate as a woman yes. or a person of color working, 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 only to have an outside hire of a straight yes. white guy from the Midwest showing up going, hey, can mm-hmm. you help me kill this job that you've been lusting <laughs> after for your entire career? <laughs> right, and right. It only works for me because he truly is an innocent and he's actually right. kind and they end up they have such a lovely I love that flirtation at the end with the, the oh eyelash. my god I was gonna say that was such a funny little awkward like flirtation where they were like "Ooh, we should I don't know where that came from but they were like we got to shoehorn in some chemistry, <laughs> like, and they were some just chemistry. Like, it was so it was so funny the old no one has ever done that to me no yeah. one has ever pulled an eyelash except a boyfriend face. oh my gosh in fact i feel like the other day my boyfriend tried to and it was like ah what are you doing it's like, like don't touch at me. my face and i'm like oh make a wish i wish you wouldn't do that again <laughs> but yeah they do have like there's a moment at the end where um there's like we're setting up romantic intrigue um, and i have to say this is one of my favorite will they won't they workplace romances yeah. over the years the minute, oh, I was so nostalgic for all the locations. Everyone gathering around the desk outside oh, yeah. the office, the blinds opening and closing. Because throughout the course of the series, we never leave these we, this no. space. It's one set. Yeah, it's, it's one great. set. It's fantastic. So oh my tight. gosh. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah. In fact, when it opened and it was in the lobby, I was like, what's happening? <laughs> they like, never that I forgot <laughs> that, like, I, you know, because it's so you're so used to seeing the um, newsroom that you're just like, what is this place? <laughs> Obviously, it's a lobby, but yeah, I mean, I just the 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 um, the star power in this is just yes. so exciting. Um, obviously, Phil Hartman. Like, oh my! In his, talking about the golden era, yes, the, he's at the height of his popularity, right? Yes. I mean, Saturday Night Live, that's another – so he comes from performing live yeah. with a live audience, yeah. and he just destroys it. He's so memorable. Every single person yeah. in this is so memorable, but, but like, oh, man, I as a kid, I just – I loved this show, and I thought Phil Hartman was, like, the funniest well, yeah, person. yeah, because it's Phil Hartman just being Phil Hartman. Like, it's just, like, bits written for him. Um, yes. It's just so great. Uh yeah. It, oh, oh so Vicky great. Lewis. Vicky Lewis, the little feisty redhead. Yes, who feels like a precursor to, um, or maybe at the same time as like suddenly Susan. Um, um, wait, what was her name? What's her name? That the redhead. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Oh, Keep going. Wait, yeah, oh, wait. You're absolutely no. It was at the same time because I I'm used to mix up. them up, and I loved them both. Yes, it, but Kathy the, Griffin was on yes. Suddenly Susan. Kathy Griffin. Yes, guys, we're what? talking about the golden era. <laughs> Of redheaded comedy ladies. I was just going to say, they're like, oh, you know what? You know what's of color? Redhead. <laughs> <laughs> That's diverse. They're like, let's go there. are a minority. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, they're not wrong. They're not wrong, actually. So. But in this, in this pilot episode, her feistiness is very apparent. But I have to say, her wardrobe became 
such a joy to me because her character, I don't know if you remember this, she kind of started dressing like the nanny. Like she was as much of a fashion icon to me as the nanny, Fran Drescher, because she goes balls out with the 90s fashions. She used to have these crazy patterned tights that she would wear and these tiny short skirts. I remember that. The funny thing too is her fashions – are some of the ones that are coming back. Because, you know, they don't bring everything Ugh, back from the 90s. They don't, no. But I, but I think that if the kids, again, kids, check yeah. out this news radio because Ms. Vicki Lewis is bringing oh, yeah. some some really good fashion to you. She is. She's she's turning out some looks. And then, oh, of course, so who is not in the pilot but definitely needs to be mentioned, Mr. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Rogan. I didn't realize he wasn't in the pilot either. I didn't either. I, I was like, wait, I was like, that guy looks and feels a lot like Joe Rogan, but is not Joe Rogan. I mean, um, how yeah. how poetic that he got his start on news radio and now oh, wow. he's podcasting and doesn't, how doesn't funny. need to act ever again. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Right, because it was this, and then it was Fear Factor. Oh my god, right? that's right. Let's not forget Fear Lest Factor. Let's forget Fear Lest Factor. Forget. I never he was watched eating it. Snails and things, and then just right into, um, yeah, the whatever insane things are happening over at the Joe Rogan Experience. <gasps> god I mean, bless just... his heart. He looks like a penis, but he is <laughs> doing. He's living his best life, I can only assume. I, I mean, assume everyone's living their it. best lives. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Great. It's just very – but also it make, it's funny because you see that sort of aggressive macho male guy thing in the yes. Joe Rogan character, right. which translate, which you're like, I understand 100% why you were cast. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Over the yeah, years, yeah. you're like, oh yeah, this makes total sense. <laughs> oh, and then wait, I, we did not mention. Did we mention Andy Dick? He was, who's who's no. being less li- like it's like the it's like a Andy Dick at a at a one. You know yes. what I mean? Like it is yes. not Andy Dick at a ten. No, Andy Dick on a sitcom. I I have interviewed Andy Dick before because oh. guys, I've had many weird careers. One mm-hmm. of which included writing for a blog, and I I interviewed him over the phone, and he told me he was in the tub while we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I interviewed Andy Dick when he was in the tub. <laughs> oh my goodness! What is this place? What is I, L.A.? I don't what? understand. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> but, oh, my God. Yeah, just a great cast. The jokes, everything so tight. The heightening, like I said, it's like one height, situation the and then mm-hmm. it just, boom, boom. It just gets, Cause just you know, to, more to lay intense. It, Stakes to lay get it higher. Out. Yes, yes. To, first, to lay it out for the, the story discussion, because I, I really did really love the story where you have someone who is starting at, uh, at a new job late at the wrong building. Yes. And then you find out that you have another faux pas where he doesn't even recognize his boss. His right. boss then informs him he has to fire his former boss. The <laughs> former boss, he can't he has to lie to him and tell him he's the sports director. Or no, he doesn't right. tell him, the other guy does. So that then you have this secret that's just getting out of control. Yeah. And totally. then he proceeds to uh, try to see how things play out. Oh, he's yes. also meeting everyone, getting to know them along the way. And saying he's a sports director. Saying lying he's a about sports it. director. Yeah. Lies, lies, lies. Then the old guy, uh, the old boss, or I'm sorry, the old news director quits. He right. thinks he's off the hook, only right. to find out that this guy quits every, su- every, every like three times a week. <laughs> and he actually has to fire him. And then by that point, he's confided in the Andy Dick character that he is the news director. He's going to have to fire him. I love the comedic moment where he's told Andy Dick and he's like, just between us, don't worry. Cause, cause Andy Dick's character had this, this bad moment with the former news director. And so he's telling him, don't worry. (laughs) This was what I loved this moment where Andy's like, Oh, don't worry. It's between us. Dave Foley's character turns away. And like, I think in two, he turns back and there's three people looking at him, waiting for him to fire the news director because that's how quickly Andy Dick spilled the beans. And the group of people who know just yes. keeps growing. And then by the end, it, it is heightened to the point where everyone is sitting outside the office listening to Dave have to fire the right. former news director. He could have just done it from the beginning and it wouldn't have been as dramatic, but because it waited and waited and waited, and then I love that moment 
where he does it. Yes. He finally fires him. Right. And then he has his little, he has his like, I always call it the Julia Sugarbaker monologue where he sort of stands <laughs> up for himself, says what's up. Everybody Julia sees him monologue. flex. And yeah. um, oh, like when Vicky, <laughs> he has this moment where uh, the Beth character told him, hey, uh, it's like in prison. <laughs> you need to beat the crap out of the biggest guy here to establish your dominance. And With so, a chair. Yes. <laughs> yes. So at the end, we do see why he was hired. You can yes, see yeah. he, he is ultimately, you know, right. going to take a stand. Which I believe in the way that, like, it's a sitcom, right? So everything's sort of heightened. So he comes out, like, all of a sudden with this bravado that I'm kind of like, <laughs> I guess I'll buy because I guess I'll also buy the meet cute, the, like, the romantic comedy. You know, like, yes. you're just already in this world. You might as well just hang out. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but like, yeah, but like Dave Foley, like losing it and taking charge. I, I feel like I bet I, I think I would get really scared <laughs> like if he truly did it, you know, yes. like just anyway. Because he's, he's also he's so mousy he and is. tiny. He's just in this. like, yeah, yeah. And it's so and it's so such funny. a wonderful. Yes. Such a wonderful um, counterpart part to the Lisa Miller character. She's assured in herself. She is yes. very confident. To, and I really, really, it's so funny because if you think about it, probably the only reason she wasn't hired for the position is because she's a woman. Because if you look right. at it, she's equally qualified. She doesn't have a character flaw. Right. Except that she Not wants it too much. Like yeah, Hillary. Except that she's a woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted it That's too much. Case. <laughs> but yeah, the the juxtaposition of like Maura Tierney and like Dave Foley, it's just like a such a good. She's just such a calm, pr- calming presence to me. Yes, you know, yes. like right off the bat. Um, yeah, and then yeah, Stephen Root plays um, Jimmy James, the, uh, the his boss, which is he's just just a fun guy <laughs> to be. Around. You know, I love a super rich character who's cartoonishly rich. Yeah, that mm-hmm. they're doing things like Karen Walker. I love. Oh. Yes. All the shenanigans. <laughs> like he was like when he was like, Oh, I'm just gonna go out to the sports the sports store. Oh, what are you what are you buying? Oh, the whole store. The, uh, the, oh, I changed store. my mind. I just bought a hockey team. <laughs> yeah, he comes back with a hockey stick and he's like, I changed my mind. I'm gonna buy a I bought a hockey team instead. Mr. But, Monopoly. <laughs> yeah, totally Mr. Monopoly. But it was just such a fun yeah, it's a fun show. Um and uh yeah, and then like what is it at the end that like it's another like hapless thing? I'm trying to remember like what? oh at the end the are you talking about the very very end the, the tag? tag yeah okay so the tag at the end was really great you have uh the character of the actual sports guy starting oh yes cause that's it because like, Jimmy James the only thing Dave Foley made him promise to him was if when you fire me as the news director promise me that you will actually fire me and you will yes. make the new person do to it. To my face. To my face. Don't have like the new guy come and fire the, the guy he's replacing like you made me do today. Exactly. Which, on this cut pilot episode. To, cut to the yeah. tag of the quote unquote sports guy starting and Dave thinks he's going to get fired. And once he interviews the sports guy to ask him what he thinks about the big game and he gives all these this sports information, only then is he reassured that He's not getting the boot at the end of this uh, episode. Yeah, because, <laughs> but you can see in that moment where it's just like he plays like assured to just like right into like disarmed. You know, he just gets completely disarmed. It's it's so a quickly. fun actually acting thing that was fun to watch because it was oh, like a yes. quick the power quick shift. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is which is so fun. Um, but yeah, news radio. It just feels like I mean, I hope this isn't gonna. We promise that this isn't gonna end up just being shows that we liked. <laughs> From the 90s but it's but, hard there's but so it will be much. it will be it we will be actively like steering out of that <laughs> like to try we you know? will we will yes i was thinking that too but i was also like you know we did we came in good with some real current things and also yeah. you know we'll just see how people react to stuff yeah from there. But, right but also we're definitely doing just shoot me next because <laughs> like, because Ugh. we have to yeah but Nina then we'll Van go back Horn. Yeah, mm. but then maybe we'll go back to like you know a current, a current. Yeah, kind of yeah, we'll get there. So we'll like, there. calm down. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, totally. 
Com- look, we, we have lipstick to talk about. We so have – um, the world is literally reopening. I mean, there's a lot to talk about. Uh- Can I just say that while, you know, I've been watching, now the commercials are people reuniting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is a huge yep. – a huge like there's new commercials of people like you see people reuniting and coming together which is a huge drastic improvement from i don't know if you saw any of these like blue shield blue cross blue anthem i don't remember what they're called <laughs> they don't they, either they don't know what they're called either girl, it's like, these... i think it's blue shield anyway go on <laughs> who knows blue hammer anyway we will, we will be sponsored by you however if you <laughs> <laughs> Whatever your name is, we'll get it right when you pay us. That's correct. But they they have this uh, they had this commercial at the height of pandemic where it was just like really sad, uh, maudlin music, and yes. all these black and white stills of healthcare workers fighting and just saying we're there for oh, you. And no. I like I was just like I am so glad to be done with being reminded about the, like what's just going pe- on. Just all the people dying. I already know. I'm we not know. turning a blind eye to anything. I no. have health insurance. Leave me alone. NPR tells me every morning, every morning how bad it is. <laughs> and then you we know? stopped. <laughs> right. We took a little like, break. But yeah, guys, the commercials are looking more cheerful. <laughs> that's true. That's true. More they're hopeful. looking a little more cheerful. And they're also like um, – Actors, which I appreciate. <laughs> you mean not just people there. who live together? Right. Who now just are like family. Whoever, whoever you can get. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I remember, did you, uh, you probably didn't watch this and that's okay. <laughs> but the Ryan Seacrest Disney sing-along part one and two? I did not, but okay. uh, pray tell. <laughs> when, when did this well, come it, out? This year? Yeah, it was during the pandemic and they would just put, they did like two of them and it was just hosted by Ryan Seacrest and then they'd have like the celebrities or like the families who work on it and like their entire family. Oh, okay, got like, it. doing the mm-hmm. along because like sense. obviously you can't just like gather in one place, you know. No, so, so you have um, to, yeah. Oh yeah, so they, anyway, there was just, I just remember a lot of like, let's pull in whoever you're allowed to be with. <laughs> like, exactly. Who's there? Hey, this water bottle is now my husband in a commercial. Right, right, right. But now we're all we're vaxxed and never to be waxed again. Vaxxed and bushy, y'all. Vaxxed and bush and horde. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, tell us, tell us what you want us to watch. Let us, you know, shoot us an email. We exist on all socials as Pilots One Hundred One at podcast. Pilots One Hundred One everywhere. Uh, yeah, pa- Pilots One Hundred One podcast. Podcast. Oh yes, that's at Gmail. That's yeah, at that's Gmail, and then Insta, and then wherever we decide to claim. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I recently got Chris Q. Chris Q. On Twitter. I was, <laughs> yes. I was excited that it still existed, um, yeah. but now I have the thing where I'm going to have to, you know, either like know. I'm making a hand motion where um, I'm I'm what is this? It's incorporating. She's merging. To, <laughs> yes, she's merging. Putting, emerging of. In- she is interlocking her fingers, Correct. the palms of her hands facing her face. Right, the right. The top yeah. part of her hand is facing the audience. Uh, yes, I need. I just, I just need to integrate my my handles now because I wasn't yes. as streamlined. I'm catching up to at Timmons Lisa. <laughs> so, well, I'm lazy. Could not think of other aliases, and so I just relied on it from uh, basic. I've had that. I've had that moniker since. 1997 when I got my first email address. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. See, mine was like um, Chris Rules with a Z. <laughs> at now, listen, now listen, my AOL okay. instant messenger handle was a hot mess. So there you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. My AOL, my AOL yeah, that's not AIM. We're, we're precursors to AIM. AOL was <laughs> oh, I can't wait. chaos. <laughs> mine was journey sees instead of journey oh wait i know why i named it this yours is ridiculous oh, oh, go on you have to- so this is so stupid <laughs> no <Nope>. um <laughs> there was a shoe store called journeys oh yeah when i first moved back to the united states 
I was very into journeys because they gave out free stickers in the shapes of hands that you could put on everything. And they were multicolored. And I was oh my like, God. my yeah. screen name is going to be like journeys, but I wanted to be a little air of mystery. So the people don't go, she's just that shoe store. I'm going to be like journey C's. Like I see journeys with a Z mm-hmm. because it's mm-hmm. edgy. Uh, yeah. Who was I? I, that's all what I, I think I was. Yeah, I feel like that's a similar thing that I had where it was just like, this sounds badass. I'm 13. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> you Girl, know? yours made more sense than mine. <laughs> well, I found the chaos. It's, it Girl, was within me all along. <laughs> it turns out, it's a big twist. It's, it's you. You are the chaos. <laughs> I am the chaos. Yes, exactly. Well, thank you guys for joining us for another week. Um, tune in next week when we probably do just shoot me. <laughs> yeah, unless there's if it if it's remotely difficult, we'll tell you what else we're doing. <laughs> we'll change. We'll change. We don't have a problem. We're we're light as a feather. We're we, we're quick on our feet. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, take it easy, y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>